The entry level luxury car market is a rather interesting one in a country like India. You see on the one hand you have someone who wants to upgrade and buy their first luxury car and on the other hand you have someone who already owns multiple cars and want to add yet another luxury car to their family garage and this is where Mercedes Benz has found quite a sweet spot and they have made multiple attempts in the past with cars like GLA the A class and the CLA And now Mercedes is back again in the game and is offering their smallest ever entry level limousine. Meet the Mercedes-Benz A-Class limousine. They say first impression is the last impression and that especially holds true when it comes to cars. The styling of a car is probably one of the biggest selling point and Mercedes-Benz has got it bang on point. The very first glance on the car makes you realize how well crafted this machine is up front is a concave grille parallel bonnet lines on the hood and sharp angular headlights different from other Mercs in the market a point here to highlight is that the E class limo holds the world record for the lowest coefficient of drag standing at 0.22 which means it has a sleek overall profile both for better aerodynamics and also design wise the side is very C class inspired with no standout element per se while the rear gets an integrated spoiler tri aero lights and dual chrome exhaust tips all in all, Mercedes-Benz A-Class has a very nice and eye-catching design with very few body lines as the overall profile speaks for itself. Now the very first thing you will notice as soon as you step inside the cabin of the A-Class limousine is this large connected display here. There's a 10.25 inch fully digital instrument cluster and in the middle here is a 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment system with the latest gen of MBUX system. And more than that, it also gets the Alexa and Google Home connectivity, making it quite futuristic and stuff. Not just the screen, but Mercedes has managed to squeeze in a lot of tasteful design elements all throughout the cabin. Right from the circular turbine-inspired triple AC vents in the central console, a neat AC button console, and a touchpad with hand rest all adds to a unique and posh touch to the cabin. The model we drove had a multi-layered cabin with light beige upholstery, walnut wood finished panel running on dash and doors, grayish upper dashboard paneling and gloss black paneling on the central tunnel. Now to address the elephant in the room, how limousine is this limousine? In my personal opinion, the legroom is better than the competitors, but is still not that great for someone who is looking for a shopper driven car. The scooped out front seats liberate some space, but you need some time adjusting your foot, especially with a big floor hump. Otherwise, the practicality is top notch with multiple storage spaces. The boot is also deep and wide at 395 liters. The petrol one gets a few extra liters. At a time when most of the luxury car makers are reluctant to offer a wide array of engine options right at the launch of the car, Mercedes-Benz is offering a full stack with the A-Class limousine. There's a 1.3 litre petrol, a 2 litre diesel and an AMG engine option as well. The one we are driving today is the 200D diesel engine option which gets 150 HP and 320 Newton meter of torque and is mated to an 8-speed auto gearbox. What is interesting is that Mercedes-Benz is claiming that this car can actually deliver 21.35 kilometers to a litre of fuel efficiency. Just to give you an idea on the rest of the powertrain options, the petrol unit produces 160 HP and 250 Nm of torque with 7-speed gearbox. And the AMG unit, which again is a 2-litre unit, produces 306 HP and 400 Nm of torque and has a 7-speed gearbox. It's a front-wheel drive car with an overall smooth ride quality. The diesel engine we drove was amply powerful and had enough torque for you to overtake traffic every now and then. The 8-speed gearbox complements the engine well enough not to stretch it to the limits and gives you a refined, relaxed driving experience. The steering wheel is tuned mostly fine. However, I found it a tad on the lighter side which is extremely good for the city driving. NVH levels are controlled and only while accelerating hard you feel engine noise creeping in. Suspension, on the other hand, absorbs most of the bumps 
and is on a softer side for a luxury ride experience. Safety wise, the Mercedes Benz A Class Limo gets 7 airbags, 7th one being a knee airbag, an active brake assist with 3 functional levels, ABS with EBD, among others. I missed the blind spot indicator in the new Limo. Interestingly, Mercedes is now offering 8 years unlimited kilometer warranty with the sedan, highest in India, to ease the ownership cost. The new A-Class limousine has features of the S-Class, space of the C-Class, design of the CLS and will be priced a bit north of CLA, making it one of the most unique and value for money luxury cars in India today. Should you buy one? Well, of course, if you are looking for a luxury sedan with all these qualities, low cost of ownership and the Mercedes-Benz brand name. And no, if you are someone who still believes that SUVs are better suited for your needs.